we move on to Surfer's Paradise. This is my favorite trekking game. I love this trek. The grannies don't love it, though. The grannies and grandpas. Because they just, they hit the walls. I don't understand it. This can be a dangerous trek, though, because, like, when granny, you have a granny pile up, the series and then uh, you'll be coming the flying around the, the corner, and then you'll run into a granny and blow your engine or whatever. So you have to be really cautious on this track. Oh, look at that purple green. Who's driving that purple car? Oh, man, my back bumper's falling off. How dare that green hit me. How dare it. But. Oh, see you there. See, watch them. Somebody's gonna spin out. I just know it. Oh yeah. well, nobody did. Yeah. But they're moving slowly. They wanted to. Yep. They're like, oh, we don't want to spin out. So we had to drive 15 miles an hour. Man, my back glass is shattered. And, mm. You're just having how, a hard time. How dare they? How dare they be so rude? Look at that. I'm already kicking them. Uh, there's a grant for Tom. Okay, there you go, in a position. That's good. Oh man, now I'm gonna lose my front bumper. You don't need bumpers. Nah, we don't need bumpers. Bumpers are for sissies. Oh, yeah, we have to be careful on that you chain there. It's easy. I try to take it full throttle, but sometimes that can be dangerous. Alright, we're catching. We're catching uh, Grant Paul Gary. He's first. Go catch him. Yep, Surfer's Paradise. You see, this is a nice track. All the palm trees and all the tall buildings around, too. It's really nice. wonder if there's really a city called Surfer's Paradise or if that's just, just the name of the track. Let's look it up. I have the internet right here at my disposal. All right, let's look it up. Yeah, top in surface paradise. You are on six uh, lost my other bumper. Yeah, it exists. Oh, really? Is that the name of the city? What's the population? It's uh, let's see, population eighteen thousand. Oh wow. Annual rainfall one hundred and twenty-five millimeters. Mean minimum temperature seventeen degrees Celsius. Mean maximum temperature twenty-five degrees Celsius. Oh. Kind of like a pretty nice bag. location. Yeah. Well, 18,000 inhabitants. It's a suburb within the Gold Coast city of Queensland, Australia. Oh, yes, I've heard of Queensland. It is indeed there. Tomato. Yeah. Talking about, uh, back about my kids in my classroom, uh, they will be, I mean, I will look at them and see them doing something wrong, and I will see it happening, and they'll be, they'll look at me and see that I see them, and then they'll say, oh, I didn't do anything. Oh, I tell you, it makes me so angry. I had to send two to the office last week, just, uh, for continuously talking without permission, talking back, and just... Mamas didn't raise them right. Just, oh no, no. No, they don't know what it's like to get a spanking. They I guess, I they guess they lack, they lack like them that. so, yeah, they lack them so much at home, I guess, that they're like, oh, I final need to get in school and make up for I guess, I don't know. It uh, beats me hit those walls there. Yeah. Hitting walls, that's always a good strategy. Poor Grant Falls, they're already so far behind. I wonder if we can win every race this championship. We lost one in the last one. Yeah, I think we'll get it. I don't think we lost. We got, what, the second or third, I forget. Yeah, we got third. Pretty good. It, was, it wasn't a loss. Those two grannies that were rushing to the bingo game, though, they beat us. That was just unacceptable.
Have you seen any good movies this week? No, I got, I saw it in theaters, but I went ahead and got The Dark Knight Rises, but I didn't really care much for The Dark Knight Rises. It wasn't the best movie I've ever seen, but I, I got it just so I could watch it again and pick out all the imperfections and plot holes and stuff. <laughs> I, like to, I like to go through and find out, like, that don't make no sense, or that guy was just wearing a green shirt, and now he's wearing a red one. Like, oh, yeah, I like to find yeah. Like that. I know exactly what you mean. I've seen that so many times in movies, and sometimes it's fun just to kind of peek it out. Yeah, I, I, I usually I'm pretty good at picking them out in the theater. I do a pretty good job of finding all the flaws on the first go around, and I just like to watch it the second, third time and see if I really missed anything. There was one movie I saw. It wasn't in theaters, but that I saw. It was about some monkey or some some ape. Rise uh, of the Planet of the Apes. Oh no, no, no! Um, it's something else. That gun. That's Great drive, pal. Great drive. Is it like Dunstan checks in or something? <laughs> I can't Let's remember it, but it started. Really it started in this lab, and the mother, the mother ape, um, they were they had done some tests on it or something, and gave it. Yeah, some and he test. takes he takes the baby home, and then at the end of the movie, the apes take over the world. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it. What was that's the rise, Yeah, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Oh, yeah. that is Rise of the Planet of the Apes. I watched yeah. that movie and. I generally knew what was going on, but it, it, some of it just didn't make any sense at all. <laughs> and I like it. I don't know. I don't, I don't usually buy a movie. Jason I mean, it was good. good. You know, I, I didn't intend to watch it all because, you know, I was yeah. wanting to go home and go to bed, but I got into it and I watched the whole movie. Yeah. But, I, but it was good, but it just didn't make too much sense. I don't know. Yeah.